learn about today with the illegal alien coming in very sadly from Mexico. And you saw what happened to that incredible, beautiful young woman. Should have never happened. Illegally in our country, we've had a huge impact, but the laws are so bad. The immigration laws are such a disgrace. That was the president just moments ago. For the last month, Iowans have searched and prayed for a missing college student called Molly Tibbetts. Today, tragically, her body was discovered. Police say their suspect is an illegal immigrant. He led them to the body in a cornfield, they say. Fox National correspondent Matt Finn is in Iowa for us tonight with details. Matt? Tucker Molly Tibbetts' body was found in a cornfield not far from where I'm standing, and police say 24 year old Christian Rivera has been charged with first degree murder in the death of 20 year old Molly Tibbetts. Authorities say Rivera has been in this country illegally, and tonight we're working to learn a little bit more about Rivera's background. So far, we have learned that ICE has placed a detainer on Rivera and say that he is here from Mexico. Here's one of the lead investigators giving us a little more details on Christian Rivera. We have confirmed with Homeland Security Investigations that he is an illegal alien, and we believe he has been in this area now for four to seven years. Investigators say Rivera confessed that on July 18th, the day that Molly Tibbetts went missing, he approached her and followed her while she was out on her jog. She spotted him and said, leave me alone. I'm going to call police and took out her cell phone. Rivera told police he continued to follow her and then blacked out and doesn't remember what happened after that. And he came to in a rural area not far from here. Authorities say this morning, Rivera led them to a remote location about 13 miles from Molly's hometown, which is Brooklyn, Iowa. And that is where they found what they believe is the body of Molly Tibbetts. Authorities say it was a surveillance video submitted to them that showed Molly jogging and then Rivera's black Malibu car. That's how they were able to track down Rivera. Police tonight have not revealed the manner of Molly's death. Police say Rivera did see Molly prior to the day that he uh, allegedly murdered her on July 18th. It's not clear how often he saw her, but police are going to also clarify for us in the coming days whether he may have been stalking her. Molly Tibbetts was set to return to the University of Iowa as a sophomore this year. Her father, Rob, Rob Tibbetts, was on the ground here for 30 days pleading for information. Uh, leading to the arrest or conviction of anyone involved in uh, the disappearance of his daughter. He even went to the university, or he even went to the uh, Iowa State Fair to hand out flyers begging for information. And after 30 plus days, he has now learned that his daughter has been found dead. Tucker. Matt Finn, Forrest in Iowa. Thank you, Matt. Well, as with the state Kate Steinle case, it looks like a young American might still be alive if the country were simply willing to enforce its own federal laws. Luis Miranda is a former DNC communications director, and he joins us tonight. Luis, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. It's so, good to be on. So the line that the rest of us are kind of forced to accept is that all immigrants are great people, better than us, in fact, and that if we suspect otherwise, we're bad people. If we point to evidence proving otherwise, then we're flat-out bigots and we should be quiet. Why don't Americans have a right to police their own borders and say, if you're not here legally, you have to leave now. Why don't we have that right? Well, Tucker, I'm really glad that you're giving us the opportunity to have this discussion because I think Democrats, Republicans, independents, immigrants, and uh, those born here all alike, we can agree that these heinous crimes have no place regardless of who does them. Uh, you know, just this week, we found out that a white man in Denver killed his wife and two beautiful young daughters. Also yeah, tragic, uh, just as this uh, young woman in Iowa who, whose death is a, a huge tragedy, and I can't imagine what her family's going through. So we can well, agree but, but on the, that. But here's the difference. But, no, no, but, I understand. But and there's a white man in Denver I, I, actually, who doesn't no, speak no, for no, all white slow, men either. Slow to, hey, hey, Luis, I didn't say anything about this man's race. This story is not about race. Don't make it about race. Stop that. I was saying this is about nationality and citizenship. This man had no right to be here. That's the difference. Lots of Americans commit heinous crimes. It's terrible. We put them in prison where they should be. Exactly. But people who shouldn't be should here in the first too. place, he didn't have a right to be here in the first place. He should not have been here. His presence violated federal law. 
you and your party tell us that we're racists for wanting to enforce our own laws. It has nothing to do with race. It has Tucker. everything to do with whether we think laws are real. And some There's of us more do. We agree on, you don't. There's more we agree on. We okay. both agree that the immigration system is badly broken. It is horribly broken. And the people who no, stood I don't in the way that. of fixing that have been uh, oftentimes Republicans. And I'll give you an example of what look, worries me look, about this No, case. you don't. This is just spin. It's really simple. I ask you a question, please answer it. Why don't we as American citizens, you, me, our neighbors, everyone, a citizen, immigrants or not, but who is an American, have a right to say, if you don't have a right to be here, you must leave. When did we lose that right? Why don't we have that right? And I'll tell you when. When people who own big corporations, companies, uh, who are yes. inviting these people to come work, uh, oftentimes at depressed wages because they need the labor. Look, George W. Bush. I agree with you completely. Katrina, I agree with you completely. Wage laws and brought Mexican immigrants to help exactly. with the recovery and reconstruction after Katrina. To his so eternal shame and the unemployment being rate among created I, to draw them. No, oh no, you're absolutely right. But what you're missing is. The African-American unemployment rate in New Orleans remains very high. Those jobs went to foreigners. They didn't help the Americans who need the help in Agreed. New Orleans. And I can give that you a thousand George other. W. You're Bush. right. I agree. To his eternal shame. It's one of the reasons he has a lot to be ashamed of from his eight years as president. That's one of the main things to be ashamed of. But I have a, still a simple question. You and I agree on that. So why don't we say to employers, you must verify the legal status of your employees, and if you can't, you can't employ them. And if someone's got a fake ID, that's a felony. One of the things we tried the, to do under the, the Obama you don't believe administration was to expand e-verify. No, actually, that was you part of agree. the immigration bill that we put Universal forward in 2013. E yes, it was. It was absolutely oh, it was something because that we because Democrats are totally against it now, totally, because they take money from these employers that the rely on the cheap bill you just included mentioned. it, and it included no, uh, border security. That's not true. It included uh, verification. Absolutely, that, absolutely. But, but, that's always but been why part of what right we tried now. To. Why? It, but it's not true. Democrats right now ask ask members of the Senate, the, the forty odd Democrats in the Senate, are you for universally verify? If you can't prove that your employees are legally in this country, you can't employ them. Are they for that? You Tucker, can't get a majority the Obama that right now, and you know we, that. We set off drones okay. but, I'm sorry, so, it's to fly from Texas right to now. California. Uh, we uh, added uh, border patrol agents. We agree that we need a safe and orderly border. It didn't work. What, what the disagreement it here is, work. is how do you use your resources? And the problem that I have right now is that we have immigration agents chasing down moms taking their kids to school instead it's of looking just, for it's, real criminals it's just like the silly. one that it's just you silly. targeted was, at the beginning of this Here was uh, a real criminal. And if we, Absolutely. if we eliminate ICE, as Democrats are calling for, then how do we police our immigration laws? We can't. And you really what, represent a party that would Trump like to eliminate immigration enforcement. What I think is important is that as long as Trump and, and other Republicans keep politicizing immigration enforcement, it turns into this kind of debate that takes away from the reality that we need a safe and secure border. We need uh, someone who is actually stopping the flow of illegal guns and drugs north and uh, bulk cash south. We did that during the, I'm the sorry. Obama administration. I'm sorry. This is disingenuous. So we're both you in didn't agreement in that. The country's flooded we with are heroin both in from Mexico. We are both in agreement in that. Yeah, okay. We are right. both in yeah, agreement please. on That's that. Not, but when you politicize no, well, it, and you force respect, law enforcement you're agents not telling to go the chase truth. a mom okay. going to school, taking her this kids there, okay. and raiding Luis, thank you. Uh, factories. I appreciate it. Right. Okay.